Welcome to Florida State University. And welcome to the Counseling Psychology and School Psychology Combined PhD program. We are so happy to have you here. We are part of the College of Education, and our home base is in the Stone Building, which is located on the northwest corner of the campus. Let us show you around. We'll start with the faculty offices. Due to COVID-19, many of the professors are working from home and occasionally visit campus. But they're just a Zoom or phone call away, though. You can learn more about each of them on our program website. Right now, let's meet Dr. Ebner, the Director of Clinical Training. She oversees all of our students' clinical experiences, from your first practicum all the way through internship. Say hi to Dr. Hall, our newest faculty. We'll head downstairs and meet Dr. Thompson. She is the clinical director for the Adult Learning Evaluation Center, ALEC. ALEC is one of our program-run clinics. Let me show you around the clinic. Our clients are mostly FSU students who have concerns about ADHD or learning disorders. Back here, we have our evaluation rooms and a conference room to host lab meetings, study sessions, or supervision. The Human Service Center, or HSC, is another of our program-run clinics where we see members of the community. We have two-way mirrors so we can do some live observation, as well as some technology to record the session to help us all get better. I know it's scary, but I promise you'll start to hate your voice a little bit less as time goes on. Let's check out the labs at the Learning Resource Center, or LRC. The LRC is at the end of the hall. There are a couple of computer labs, but what we really love are the study rooms. You can reserve these rooms online for individual or small group work. Otherwise, there is a quiet space room to be the most productive. The LRC also has laptops and other technology that can be loaned out. That's right. They also have some fantastic online resources that FSU students can access. We can use the virtual lab to use full versions of SPSS, M+, R, Adobe, etc. If we go downstairs to the ground floor, you will check out the student lounge. This one had a colossal glow up, and you actually want to come here now. There's a private room back here separated by sliding doors. I think you can also reserve this one. But I like to go and snake one of these built-in pod spaces. They are fully equipped with dimmable lights, a mini table, and a wall outlet. This room is excellent, but this is not specifically a graduate lounge for just our program, so you will have to share with others. Many of your classes will be in this building. Let's head outside for a beautiful stroll to the Career Center. It's a straight shot from here, and honestly, the walk is so fun. You get some sun, breathing the fresh air, but also you just to get a chance to see the rest of the campus. And all the excited undergrads. I will warn you to be aware, though. There's a lot of cyclists and midday joggers and some skateboarders to dodge. But it's only about 10 minutes, and I get told I walk fast, so maybe 15 minutes if you're just strolling. FSU is also home to Cognitive Information Processing Theory, which was created by faculty in our program. The theory is adopted in the Career Center and is the foundation for the drop-in services model. This is the donut where people can drop by and get help with CVs and resumes, statements of purpose, and basic career direction. The FSU Career Center was ranked just this year by the Princeton Review as one of the top 20 best university career center services in the U.S. Pretty cool to know that you get to work and train at one of the country's best as part of the practicum experience. Another one of our practicum experiences is conducted at a local charter school. Through this practicum, we all get experience working with the children and adolescents. Remember, this is a combined counseling and school psychology program. We hope you've enjoyed taking a look at our program. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Take care.